for the time average power of the conduction currents dot product with the electric field, we get sigma E RMS dotted with E RMS. We can imagine that the conduction current leads to power loss because resistors heat up when a, re when a sinusoidal voltage is applied. And indeed, when we evaluate the dot product, we see that the J and the E are completely in phase because J is equal to sigma E and J RMS dotted with E RMS is sigma E RMS dotted with E RMS, which is equal to sigma E RMS squared in watts per meter cubed. So these are completely in phase just as the voltage is completely in phase with the current for a resistor. Next, write out the dot product of the displacement current and the electric field and examine whether they share an in-phase component.